Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day today. The month of October has come and gone and a lot has happened in the past month. But don't worry, if you missed anything, you'll find it here in small, bite-sized chunks for easy digestion. In its feud with Apple, Epic is getting more and more support from other app developers like Spotify and Basecamp. Along with Epic, they founded the Coalition of App Fairness, which fights for fairer competition and more freedom in the app ecosystem of Apple and Google. Rockstar has acquired Ruffian Games, the studio known for working on the Crackdown series and the Master Chief Collection version of Halo Reach. The studio will from now on be known as Rockstar Dundee. Mike Morheim, former CEO and founder of Blizzard, has started a new company. Dreamhaven will both develop and publish games and currently owns two studios, Moonshot and Secret Door. Both studios are currently being run by ex-Blizzard employees. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 crisis, the physical BlizzCon event will not be for this year. Blizzard has decided to keep the event online and scheduled it for the 19th and 20th of February next year. The Initiative, a studio from Microsoft, has snatched away two employees from Naughty Dog. Animator Lee Davis will now work as lead gameplay animator and technical director Lauren Garcia will become a Shading Technologies senior. The Initiative is rumored to be working on a new Perfect Dark title. Brian Fargo, studio boss of In Exile Entertainment, has announced that his studio is currently working on two new RPGs. One of the two is still in early pre-production and is therefore not for the immediate future. Don't Nod, known for Life is Strange, opens a new office in Montreal, Toronto. The Daughter Studio is currently working on a brand new IP. Publisher Focus Home Interactive and developer Flying Wild Hog join forces for a new project. According to Focus Home Interactive, this project will be Flying Wild Hog's most ambitious title yet. After a 30-year career, Rayman creator Michel Ancel is leaving the gaming industry. Ancel wants to pursue his second passion and sets to work in a wildlife reserve near Montpellier. Beyond Good and Evil 2 and Wild, the two projects Ancel was leading are still under development. Thanks to Microsoft xCloud, Doom Eternal can now be played on a refrigerator. Instagram user Richard Mollard managed to pull it off by installing the xCloud Android app on his Samsung refrigerator. A playable Doom on the craziest devices has of course been a running gag among technology fans for some time now. We already knew that the original game from the 90s is playable on a calculator, but now it appears that you can power that calculator with a lot of potatoes. YouTuber Equalo proves this in his new video, in which he generates just enough electricity with hundreds of potatoes to play Doom on his calculator. Amazon's multiplayer game Crucible never recovered from their disastrous launch and is thrown in a towel after just a few months. The servers will finally shut down on the 9th of November. After a series of spin-offs and crossovers, 2018 finally saw a full-fledged Dynasty Warriors offspring with simple yet tactical battles against thousands of opponents. Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires is a strategy-focused expansion that will bring the series to the Switch for the first time. Life Sim Ruin Factory 5 steps away from the top-down perspective of its predecessors and lets you farm, fish, and adventure in a full-fledged 3D world. In fitness boxing 2 for the Switch, you can work on your physique by making boxing movements to the beat of the music. Postal Brain Damaged takes the adolescent shock humor of the original and turns it into an insane psychedelic world of retro FPS action. 25 years after its original release, retro FPS Rise of the Triad can prepare itself for a full-fledged remake. It retains the back-then progressive mechanics such as jump pads, destructible environments, and NPCs that feign themselves dead. Doctor Who The Edge of Reality follows the story of its VR predecessor The Edge of Time with new worlds, puzzles, and gameplay mechanics. Both Jodie Whittaker and David Tennant reprise their roles as the 13th and 10th Doctor, respectively. Like the original, Tesla Grad 2 will be a Metroidvania platformer with a unique cartoony look and magnetism-based gameplay. Because of Microsoft's acquisition of ZeniMax, a Fallout New Vegas sequel might be in sight. 
Microsoft now owns both Fallout and New Vegas developer Obsidian. However, the studio itself blows hot and cold at the same time. Presumably Obsidian is currently too busy for Fallout New Vegas too, because according to persistent rumors, the studio has already started developing The Outer Worlds 2. Next year, Pharaoh A New Era will be released, a remake from the 1999 City Builder. The entire game will be rebuilt from scratch, but still casts you as an Egyptian ruler who must build and manage his ancient Egyptian empire. The third Guild Wars 2 expansion will be called End of Dragons and will introduce the southern island region of Kantha. And that's a wrap guys, you're all up to speed. Hope you enjoyed this news flash digest and I hope to see you all again next month for another. If you want to see more gaming news reviews and release roundups, be sure to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you when I see you. That's awesome.